Okay, guys, we're back working on the six liter today. Uh, we're going to get the rocker arms torqued down using a sequence. So all we got to do is get the uh, all the push rods put in. And then we will follow this sequence right here. Bring the engine up to top dead center on the compression stroke. Then you will tighten the exhaust on one, two, seven, and eight. Tighten the intake on one, three, four, and five. You will rotate the crank 360 degrees, which will rotate the cam 180. And then you are going to tighten three, four, five, and six on the exhaust, and then two, six, seven, eight on the intake. It's just a sequence that will allow you to torque each uh, exhaust and intake whenever it is not on low lift. So that way the torque spec is correct right at 37 foot pounds versus if it's already loaded on low lift, you may get a higher reading or a lower reading depending on how much low lift it actually is under. So super simple video guys, we'll get it to recording and we'll get to it. All right guys, simple way to just figure out which one is your intake and your exhaust. Just follow the runner. The intakes will all have like this raised portion here and the exhaust does not. So same way for the other side. Exhaust, intake, exhaust, intake, so on and so forth. So that way, whenever you're following this torque sequence, you won't get confused. So let's get to it. All right, guys, to get started, we're just going to get our push rods installed in each intake and exhaust of all eight cylinders. I've already cleaned up these push rods. Got any of the like factory oil assembly lube off of them. We'll just get them all installed. We will put some assembly lube on the tips of the each rocker arm, or not rocker arm, but each valve tip, and then each push rod tip as well. So like I said, we'll just use some assembly lube. We're gonna get each tip of the push rod, and then each tip of the intake and exhaust valve covered. So that way we have nothing dry on startup. That way your rocker arm isn't dry against the valve. So we're just going to install our rocker arm. I don't know what that's exactly called. Get every rocker arm bolt started by hand. And all we're gonna do is just get these, basically run them down until they're finger tight. And we will go from there and then we will Get both sets on, we'll get the driver and passenger side, get them ran down, probably with the speed wrench, just till they're about hand tight, and then we will start following our. You may have to actually push your push rods down once you get your rocker arms on, so that way you're not having to really torque them down. Like get to torque and then it's pushing the push rod down the entire time. All right, let me go grab the other set. All right, we'll get our passenger set put in. Remember I said you may have to push the push rods down. That way they're contacting the lifters. Then start getting your bolts started by hand so that way you're not cross-threading. And then they don't torque. Okay. Now, you just use your speed wrench. Run them down till they're snug. You don't really have to he-man them.
I like to just kind of center up all my rocker arms, make sure they're kind of centered on the tip of the valve. center up all our rocker arms on the tip of the valve and then we can start following our torque spec and getting all these rocker arms torqued to spec in a certain sequence so that way it is accurate as can be okay the torque spec is 22 foot pounds and we are going to tighten the exhaust valves on one two seven and eight so just find your exhaust valve on number one So we got one, three, five, seven. So we're gonna tighten the exhaust on seven as well. Then you have two, four, six, and eight. So we're gonna do the exhaust on number two. And then we're going to do the exhaust on number eight. Now we are going to tighten the intake on one, three, four, and five. So remember one, three, five, and seven. So we're going to do the intake on one. Do the intake on three as well. Do the intake on five. And then we will move over to the intake on four. So we have two, four, six, eight. Find the intake valve. We'll tighten it. Okay, so now we have to rotate the crank 360 degrees, which I have all the spark plugs out so it'll roll over pretty easily. And that will put our cam at 180 degrees. Now we will tighten the exhaust of three, four, five, and six. So we got the exhaust here on three. The exhaust of five. Then we will do four and six. So we'll do four. Do six. Then we will in tighten the intake of two, six, seven, and eight. So we get the intake valve on two. Intake valve of six. Do the intake valve of eight. We'll go to the other side and do seven. Hmm. 
And that's all there is to it, to tightening on the rocker arms and it's the correct torque sequence. So that way, you know, your torque reading is accurate. All of them are off low lift this way. So that way you're not getting a higher reading than you should be or a lower reading. You're getting the correct reading. They all are at 22 foot pounds. If you like the video guys, like, comment, subscribe. We'll catch you on the next one.